Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I'm going to be doing a review on the new Maybelline setting powder and this is what the powder looks like. I just got this yesterday and I wanted to test it out and see what it looks like on the face because I've been seeing this circulating around YouTube and I really wanted to try it but I couldn't find it in stores. I got this at Target and this powder costs $5.99. So right now I just have my eyes done and my eyebrows and um, color corrector. I'm going to put on my foundation and concealer and contour and then I'm going to set my eyes with the powder hopefully it's a good color for me and that it's not too dark because it looks like it should be okay when you look at the container and I think I will probably also compare it to my um, black opal powder because it's another drugstore powder I was thinking about like what I could compare it to because I have so many powders in my collection and I saw that a lot of people on YouTube were comparing it to like the La Mercier and all that stuff and like Derma Blend, all the high-end powders and me personally I'm not going to do Laura Mercier a, dis a disservice by comparing it to, to this powder because I feel like I'm not gonna get the same results. I know it's not gonna be better than it. Also, um, also I saw a lot of videos on YouTube circulating about what people thought about this powder initially and the reviews were very mixed so I didn't know whether or not I would like it so that's why I decided to get it myself. I wanted to get the color 35 because I felt like it'd be a good color but um, I had to get this one the 40 which is the darkish color because um, they sold out and I feel like this color would be a good color anyway because I looked at reviews and the 35 seemed a little bit light so I feel like this is going to be a safe color. So I'm just going to apply my foundation in the mirror so I can blend my foundation out. Look at the natural contour on my face. I even watched some videos here on YouTube and I felt like they look really ashy. They, I was seeing that a lot of people's reviews said that it looked kind of ashy when they applied it on and that it does have flashback but it, then again the videos that I did see there were people that were using the 35 or like the 30 color and not really the 40 because they thought it would be too dark and I personally don't think it's going to be too dark. So I'm just going to try that out for you guys today. Okay, so my concealer is all blended out. So I just wanted to show you guys what the different powders that I have here look like in comparison to the Maybelline. So this right here is the La Mercier Medium Deep Powder. And I'm just going to like take a little bit of it on the cap. So this is what it looks like on the cap. And I'm going to swatch it on my hand here. So this is kind of like what the powder looks like. It looks really bright on, on this camera, but the color that it does come up on your um, skin is not this bright, but this is what the powder looks like in the container. This is the black opal powder that I have here, and this is what it looks like in the container, and this is the deepest color. This is the color five and deep. And this one is very like, pigmented it's more of like a reddish tone powder so this is what that powder looks like and then lastly this is the Maybelline fit me powder this is what it looks like in the container and then I'm gonna pour some on the cap here so this is what it looks like in the cap and this is what it looks like swatched okay. so if you look at it on my wrist this is the La Mercier color, this is the um, black opal color, and this is the Ma Maybelline color. So you can see the Maybelline is not actually as dark as it appears in the actual container. And if you compare it to the black opal, like when you first look at it, it looks like they would be almost the same color since the Maybelline looks really dark. It actually looks darker than the black opal, but the black opal actually comes up darker on your skin and the Maybelline comes out lighter on your skin. So I feel like because of that, I can probably use it under my eyes. And the uh, Maybelline actually is darker than the Laura Mercier. The Laura Mercier is a little bit lighter. The Laura Mercier is lighter. The Maybelline seems to be a lot darker. Uh, and you guys can see how it looks right away. Like you, I think the camera can, you can see how it looks right over here on the camera. 
in terms of like the color and everything. So I'm going to get a little bit more of the powder. I'm actually really surprised on how it's looking right now. You can see the um, under eye right here and how it looks. Put some on my chin and then I'm gonna put some on my nose here and then on my forehead. So I hope you guys can tell how the powder is um, working under like my eyes and everything. And I'm actually really surprised on how it looks. It looks really smooth and um, very flawless actually. Um, on the camera it's coming up a little bit red. Like I think that it looks like really red in the camera but like in person I think it looks pretty good. Like I don't think it looks too too red. And stuff and i'm the type of person i don't want sometimes i don't really like a super highlighted um appearance under my eyes so i feel like this looks really really good i'm actually really surprised that it looks this good and i'm gonna actually take the black opal powder and put under my contour and stuff so you guys can see what that looks like so like this is the powder I think the, the black opal powder actually looks like it comes up lighter on your face. My contour, my, my contour looks super harsh on this camera, but um, I promise you it's not this harsh in person. So I'm just going to dust this off with my face brush. So I'm just going to come close up so you guys can see how my skin looks um, here and everything. Uh, you can see how the powder performed on my face overall as you guys can see this is my face I did set my makeup and everything and this is what my face looks like in terms of like drugstore products since I did apply the black opal on my face here I figured I just quickly compare the two I think these are both both really good powders I think the black opal is nice because it has um, a deeper um, tone than this would have so I would like this black opal for setting my overall face and I like this because I feel like it is a lot richer and warmer than I would say the Laura Mercier but if you like to have a you know look that's not super highlighted if you would like to set your makeup and not look super over the top I feel like this is like a nice natural finish type of powder that you could set your makeup with um, and I don't mind how dark it is I know some people want their eyes to look highlighted when they set their makeup I necessarily don't always go for that look so I do kind of like that about this powder the black opal powder is one ounce it's one ounce and it's about ten dollars on in retail stores and the Maybelline powder is um, I believe in most stores it's like eight dollars but i got mine for 5.99 which is about six dollars at target so in terms of price this is a better price um in terms of amount this has a little bit more this has 0.7 ounces and this has one ounce like one full ounce i think i said that correct but yeah this has one one ounce and 0.7 ounces um of the powder and um i don't know i don't have anything else else to say you guys can let me know what you think about this powder this is um, what it looks like under my eyes here and believe it or not it's not that dark either a quick picture to see if it has flashback because I know that's another thing that people complained about with the powders is that they have flashback so I'm just gonna do that really quickly um, so you guys can kind of see these are terrible pictures uh, but I feel like it does have a bit of flashback in this powder so I'd be really careful when you apply it and what time of the day you're taking pictures because it might come across really like bad but other than that in natural lighting I feel like it looks good because this is natural lighting but in terms of like flash photography I think it would give a little bit of flashback I don't think it's that bad but for um, you know if you're out at night and it's dark out then it might look really really bad if you take a flash picture but other than that that's pretty much it so but again if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye